Orlando is a lot more than what people give it credit for. No matter where you look, I think you'll find that there's something in Orlando that appeals to what you're looking for, whether it's arts or sports or uh, nature or culture. You can find it in Orlando. Uh, we have some really um, interesting comic spaces, like you know, a comic shop, which has a kind of meetup space called the Geek Easy. They have similar kind of things with Acme, uh, which is a big comic book store in Longwood. And really, comic book shops in the contemporary landscape are very much sort of like geek meet spaces, right? They're like geek social spaces where, where multiple kinds of geek culture come together. Because we have, a, have such a vigorous educational infrastructure, we have a creative writing program here at Rollins. You can find a great deal of material in terms of like arts and, and, art, and artistic production. The question was asked on a headline, is the best art house in America in Maitland, Florida? And my answer to that would be yes, it's right here. We have been around for 31 years and we run independent movies, which have become quite successful and very popular. And that's what we do here and we're famous for that. In addition to that, we have the Florida Film Festival, but we also have a South Asian Film Festival, which is just terrific. We have a Jewish Film Festival. On a regular basis, we ran films in Spanish. So we cover the whole gamut uh, in diversity, not because we're the great guys in the world, but because the independent filmmaking community has a diversity already built into it. If you come to Orlando, spend some time north of Orlando. You know, get to know some of the some of the nature around here, which is just terrific. I originally was in a dance crew which came from Orlando, which is Studio One. I've noticed a lot of Orlando dancers that come from here. We all have like a certain style I've noticed. We kind of go a little hard. When I'm in LA and I see people that I know from Orlando, they usually always get called out in classes. They always get noticed. Maybe it was like just an energy we all had while always seeing each other in classes here, always um, running into each other. Maybe we all kind of gave off a certain energy and we were all inspired by each other. So if you're a dancer and you're wanting to train, I'd come to Motive. It's very new. It won't always just be for dancing. It'll be for, you know, if there's ever open mic nights and, and art and everything. Miami is great. It's known for its beaches, which we love. It's known for the good weather, which we love. But when you're here for the beach and you're here in the good weather, we also want visitors to experience the neighborhoods. One of the cool things about Miami is a diverse city. We want to say it's probably one of the most diverse in, in the U.S. Because we're here, we got all, all these Cubans, all these Dominicans, all these Venezuelans, and like all these Latinos in here, so I feel like home. And then like, it's like, we're like, basically it's an island. So I'm an island guy because I'm from Dominican Republic, so I feel like home. They say, why don't we on Wynwood? People here, like, they just, just so chill, like, they just on their own vibe. Like, they're not worried about you, how you're dressing, how you look, how you talk. Like, and that's how I am, too. That's why I like Miami. The Bahamians are known for conk. So when we were opening the restaurant, our menu was totally different from other Haitian restaurants. We kept the staples like grill, legume, that's Haitian staple, poulon sauce, poisson sauce, lumbion sauce, those are staples. So we kept those things. But then we added the, the Nassau Bahamian stuff. For us to make a statement in the United States, it would have to be Miami. And we want people to have that uh, Creole experience. What better place to have it if not in Haiti, if not in the Bahamas, but in Miami. And this is what Miami represents. It represents a pot that's full of so many different flavors. And, you know, and this is the only reason why you could say, this is the best food that I've had in this country. Uh, we're standing in Bayview Park. 
here was recently dedicated what we call the memorial to the forgotten soldier. The, the forgotten soldier represents the second South Carolina regiment, an all black regiment under the leadership of James Montgomery and a woman named Harriet Tubman. The second South Carolina went up the river and pillaged plantations basically, tore down the buildings, ruined the crops, set them ablaze, flooded them, but also under Harriet Tubman's leadership liberated 800 slaves. I don't recall a time in my life when I haven't been active in the city. My earliest political involvement, I'd say, was around maybe age 13. As far as, as far as what we have to offer, I would say that it would be, of course, our culture. A unique people, I mean, in every way. There's so much that we have to offer, but again, uh, as I say, our, our biggest gifts are our culture, our history, and our natural resources, and that's what I would like to see everybody, regardless of age, appreciate.